I'm Stacy Gordon. Welcome to That's My Jam. It's really cold outside here today and I need some warm comfort food. I know for sure this recipe was given to me by one of my work friends, but unfortunately I did not write down who it came from. So if it was you, sorry I missed giving you credit. I've been making this recipe for years. It's easy, it's delicious, and I think you're gonna love it. Today we're gonna make some chicken pot pie. Let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna need two fully cooked chicken breasts. I made these in the crock pot because I think they come out with more flavor and they're a little bit juicier. When I was still working, I did this step in the morning, turned it on before I left for work, so when I got home that evening, the chicken breasts were ready to go. Next, I'm going to peel and dice two potatoes. I'm using russet. Really, you can use any type of potato you like. Once your potatoes are peeled, washed, and diced, we're gonna place them in a medium-sized saucepan. I've added enough water to completely cover the potatoes. Now, I'm gonna place them on some medium-high heat and add some salt. We're gonna let that go until our potatoes are about two thirds of the way done. At that point, we're gonna add our frozen vegetables. While those potatoes are cooking, we're gonna dice up one onion. I try not to dice up my onion on camera anymore because I seem to get a lot of comments about my technique. I'm a mom cook, not a chef. The onions are chopped and that's good enough for me. Now for our two chicken breasts. You can dice these or you can shred them. It really doesn't matter. Since I did mine in the crock pot, they shred pretty easy. So that's the way that I'm gonna go with this today. My potatoes are about two thirds of the way done. So I'm going to add some frozen mixed vegetables. This is a 32 ounce bag. I really don't think I need quite that much. So I'm gonna add about half of this or about 16 ounces of frozen mixed vegetables. We'll mix that up a little bit and let that keep cooking until the potatoes and the vegetables are tender. For this next step, I'm going to be using a decent sized deep skillet. I'm going to add one half stick butter to that skillet. Once our butter's melted, we're going to add that diced onion that nobody watched me chop. We're also going to add the equivalent of about a clove of minced garlic. We're going to work this mixture until the onions are tender. Once that onion has softened, we're gonna add one can cream of chicken soup and one can cream of celery. We'll mix all that together. When that's blended, we're gonna add our beautiful chicken. I'll get that all mixed together. One thing I really like about this particular recipe is it has plenty of chicken in the pot pie. And now I'll add a handful of shredded mild cheddar cheese. We're gonna throw in some salt and pepper. and continue mixing. I'm gonna turn that mixture down to a medium low heat because right now I wanna check my potatoes and my mixed vegetables. If they're not done, I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer because we don't wanna put those in until those potatoes are nice and tender. If you're enjoying today's video and you like quick, easy recipes, let YouTube know. Now's the time to go tap the like button. And if you haven't already, 
please consider subscribing to my channel. My potatoes and vegetables are tender now, so I'm going to strain them with a strainer, and then we're going to add that to our big skillet. I'm going to go ahead and remove that from the heat. And now we're going to add those vegetables. As you can see, my skillet is really, really full right now, so I'm going to be super careful getting all of this incorporated. If you feel like your mixture is a little too thick, you can add a tiny bit of chicken broth to get the consistency you want. For me, I think this looks perfect. For this next step, you can either make one big pot pie using a deep pie dish or multiple little individual pot pies using an oven safe baking dish. I'm gonna go with one big one today. I'm gonna spray just a little bit of cooking spray inside that pan. And now the pie crust. If you can make your own homemade pie crust, that's great. For me today, I'm gonna to use two of these refrigerated pie crusts. By the way, I'm well aware that that pie dish says pumpkin pie. That's okay, because in my kitchen, there's no rules. Okay. We're gonna get that in there, use our fingers to form it to the pan as best as we can. We wanna have some edges up high so that when we can put the top on, we'll be able to pinch those together. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a couple of little fork marks in the bottom of the pie crust. Now we add this mother load of goodness. Guys, this is no joke. We have got a ton of filling for this pot pie. I've unrolled my second pie crust. Now let's see what we can do about putting all this together. Oh yeah. Where you're able, you wanna pinch your top with your bottom crust. I've got so much filling in here. I don't know how practical that's gonna be. So I'm just going around the edges with my fingers just to try to make that pretty. I'm gonna do just a little slit in the top of this and we are ready to put this heavy monster in the oven. 45 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. 45 minutes later, I have carefully removed this from the oven. It's very heavy, it's very full, and it's very hot. I can still hear it sizzling. We're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes before we cut into it. Okay, here's how I've decided we're gonna go into this. I've got a nice sturdy metal spoon. And we're just gonna cut in. out a large hunk of this right into our bowl. I want you to see just how beautiful this is. Y'all, this is enough to feed an army. I've got a huge bowl of this and it barely made a dent in the big pie. As you can see, we've got a nice flaky crust. We've got this wonderful filling. It's still really hot, but I've got to try this. Y'all, it's absolutely delicious. 
I feel pretty sure this chicken pot pie can be a family favorite. It always is in my house. I truly hope you have a fantastic week ahead. I'm going to be back again with you real soon. In the meantime, turn off the TV, turn on some music, and just keep jamming.